In this video, I'm going to show you how to derive or prove the quadratic formula. So given a times x squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, we must show that x is equal to negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So let's write that down. We have a times x squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So the first step is to have all of the x's on one side of the equation. That means we subtract c from both sides of the equation. So we have a times x squared plus bx is equal to negative c. And we want to get rid of the coefficient in front of the x squared. So we only have the x to solve. Now, what we can do is divide both sides by a. We have a x squared over a plus bx over a is equal to negative c over a so that will give us x squared plus b over a times x and that's equal to negative c over a is there a way to reduce the x squared and the x into only one x to work with the answer is yes so let me give you an example let's say we have x squared plus 6x what i can do is plus 9 minus 9 so that's the same thing as plus 0 and you'll see why in a second so what is this going to be that is going to be x plus 3 to the power of 2 and then we have the minus 9 so now you can see we only have one x to worry about and instead of saying 3 i'm going to say k so we have x plus k to the power of 2 minus what but notice this is 3 and this is 9 and 9 is 3 to the power of 2 so we have k to the power of 2 the hard part is over and now we only have the easy part so let's expand this so what is this going to be here well that's going to be x squared plus 2kx plus k squared and then don't forget this minus k squared this will help us simplify this part. So you can see here we have an x squared, we have an x squared here. So this is b over a x, this is 2 kx. Let's use that. b over a x is equal to 2 kx. We can divide both sides by x. b over a is equal to 2k, which means that k is equal to b over 2a. And what is k squared going to be? Well, k is b over 2a, so k squared is b squared over 4a squared. Let's write what we have. So we have x squared plus bax. That is this part here. We just wrote this part down. How about plus k squared? So k squared is b squared over 4a squared plus b squared over 4a squared. And don't forget to minus this k squared. So minus b squared over 4a square and this is exactly the same as plus 0 and then this is equal to negative c over a and remember this part here so this part is the same as this part so now we have x plus k and k is b over 2a to the power of 2 and then still we minus b square over 4a squared and that's equal to negative c over a we want to solve for x so let's add both sides of the equation with b squared over 4a squared so x plus b over 2a to the power of 2 is equal to negative c over a plus b squared over 4a squared I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. So we have x plus b over 2a to the power of 2 is equal to b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. What is the common denominator? That is going to be 4a squared. So we multiply with 4a over 4a. That's the same as multiplying by 1. b squared over 4a squared minus 4ac over 4a squared 
then this is b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. We need to take the square root on both sides of the equation. So we have x plus b over 2a is equal to plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. This is plus and minus. We keep the top the same. So b squared minus 4ac. And the denominator, we have the square root of 4a squared. And what is the square root of 4a squared? It's just going to be 2a. We're going to subtract both sides with b over 2a. And we get x is equal to negative b over 2a plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And notice that the denominators are the same, so we should bring them together. So x is equal to negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And this here is our quadratic formula.